Suns fan here with Cinderin. Both of these teams currently in the bottom four of group two, Cinderman. Not so good, but it is early on. They've played one game. <laughs> not so good. I mean, it's not like I'm wrong. No, you're... They do have time to correct things. Absolutely. And we, we uh, have a Luna pick, which is very out of the box based on what we've been seeing. Yeah, so we cast Talon yesterday against EG, and that was a pretty one-sided affair. Uh, I think EG looked very good, but Talon definitely... I mean, in the second game of that series, Talon definitely were off to a good start and showed some prowess with aggression, uh, but they had one key slip-up and then kind of never recovered. This feels like the kind of game that could potentially follow the same trajectory, where if they do well in the beginning, their lineup can definitely snowball a lot with this Timber, Ember, and this support duo of Rubik and Skyrath, but you got to be careful not to take bad fights into this massive five-man that Astra have running here with Tombstone, Doom, and Lesh. You put in the Luna in the mix as well as one of these teamfight carries who will obviously offer the aura, that's the panel said, not the best game for it, but still, the ball of Astra is pretty strong. Um, cool to see another hero, though. This is the first Luna of that's this, right. this stage, at least. We, I think we had it in group stage one in one or two games, but not much. So well, it's new for us. Popular. Yeah, that's the important thing. It's our first game casting it, absolutely. That's right. And what what would you say is the reason that this hero has been uh, non-existent for the most part? I think so. One of the things the panel talked about, which I think is very true, is that Luna doesn't have very good carry to carry matchups. So her impact in the game comes from playing with the team and hitting like a strong timing around the later portion of the mid game. Um, the pace of the game hasn't really allowed for too many strategies of that kind. It's not, like, dead per se, it's just harder to pull off, and it is a hero you need to pick late in your draft, so the conditions really need to be met for it to work, and a lot of the other carries are just less conditional. I think that's a lot of it. They just feel safer to pick, feel more stable, uh, and if you do have that ultimate last pick, for example, a lot of the times you want to use that pick to, you know, hard counter something the enemy team is running. Luna doesn't really hard counter anything, right? Like, the hero isn't... There's nothing like, aha, we have Luna, you're you're screwed. Um, one of the big ups, upsides to this game is that she's one of the best carries in lane against Timbersaw. Yep. And she'll be laning together with Undying, who's one of the best supports in lane against Timbersaw. So Jabs will definitely be having a rough time. So instead of banning the arguable best hero in the game currently, they pick Luna Undying, is what yep. you're saying. I see. Okay. It's definitely a part of it. I mean, we've seen teams, I mean, Throughout all the years of Dota, very, and it's not just Aster, obviously, but Puppy's probably the most traditional example of there's an arguable best hero in the game. They will not ban it, mm -hmm. and they'll try to counter it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, EG also beat Jabs' Timbersaw yesterday. Yes, so it is the off lane. It bled. It is the off lane Timbersaw, so maybe. Actually, that's another. Why have we not seen the mid since the little mini patches? Q. Currently getting run down by these zombies and will fall as a result, so Siamese Cat gets the first blood. You have to be careful at Skyrath in this lane. Like, Skyrath is a hero. The dynamic of how he plays lanes, I think, is actually quite significantly changed because of Blood Grenade. Like, this hero has always been one that is fast and takes advantage of that. You know, you keep distance to the enemy, you keep prodding with spells, but if you get Blood Grenaded and you throw down a Tombstone, Luna can actually just run at you and hit you. She's another fast hero, so... Just that little bit of extra is enough to Ooh. to stick. Yeah, mid lane. We can see Sumail currently sitting on 13 and 4, while Makoto's 11 and 2, so a little bit Sumail favored right now. And it's a good Lesh lane. Lesh is a hero that did get some love in this last little mini patch. The yeah, like bigger four, split earth. Four separate buffs. <laughs> and, yeah. Bigger, bigger split earth and a little bit more damage to the lightning storm. I think Edict got buffed as well, right? Did it? Isn't that like almost everything? I don't remember that one. Uh, Edict got lower cooldown. Okay. Uh, the radius of the stun was increased, and the damage of Lightning Storms increased. In particular, so Lightning Storm just got plus 20 damage on every level, and that means it's way better level 1 in particular, right? Mm -hmm. Went from 70 to 90. It's a big percentual increase there. 23 will put a little bit of damage into Boboka, but he will be answered immediately. Um, more for such as... He's a very unique hero in how he interacts with Ench. I think Ench, for the most part, is one of the Car safe link carry's worst nightmare, but Morph is at least one of the heroes that can, you know, somewhat offset it by just attribute shifting. Um, still, an Enchantress with a good creep can become overwhelming. I mean, this 
feels and like it's, it's technically two creeps. What if Ench and Doom both have a lightning harpy? True. <laughs> That's good true. luck. <laughs> I want to see that lane actually. Well, Just not... I can feel good about not being in the game. Uh, he starts off with the, the, the mana burn, burn so yeah. not as powerful, but he can't spam spells because of the mana regen. The regen is really nice for Ench as well. She just gets to throw impetus nonstop. It's a lot of harass. And yeah, the mana burn. If you if you burn the morph enough times, maybe he can be in kill range at some point. I feel like morphling has been kind of. I, originally, I said it was. Bloodseeker was kind of the, the carry of this tournament, but I feel like it's transitioned into Morph now. Yeah. He has been picked basically every game, not good enough apparently to ban consistently. Do you think he's just at a very stable point? Like, you know what you're going to get out of this hero, or is there some other reasoning behind him just being picked all the time? Because he, I feel like before it was kind of like a risk-reward type thing, right? Right. He seems harder to bully in lane than he was for a while. I don't know exactly what the reason is, to be honest, but... It's rare that we see a morph lane just be annihilated recently. Yep, XXS, he's getting gone on by 23 Savage. Has the right clicks, and the adaptive strike actually is enough damage. So a nice kill for 23. And he'll go back to farming. Currently, the CS leader is him. And he will be going for a fast Lincolns, which not too big of a surprise considering there is a Doom in the game. I was thinking part of the reason Morphling became more popular was that he was one of the only carries that could last hit reliably in lane against Universal Heroes. Because he has so much more damage when he morphs into Agility. Mm. But a lot of the offlaners that get played aren't necessarily Universal, so it doesn't feel like it's a necessity anyway. Um, but yeah. Nice nice kill there from, uh, from 23. Obviously uh, off to a good start here on the Morph. Top yeah. net worth by a decent margin I now. Mean, speaking of which, mid lane, that's that's a thousand. Oh, I guess it's 600. 600 difference, but a decent XP lead as well for Sumail. Yeah. I expect no less from this lane matchup and this player in particular. I think Sumail's Lesh is probably the best laning in the world on this hero. Uh, that was a sentence. Yep. Yeah, that works. And from this version of Lash, we're not seeing Diabolic Edict, so won't be pushing these towers as early, but like we talked about, the Lightning Storm did get some love. Yeah. So a little bit of a different play style, where you're just pushing the waves, I assume, and stacking camps, potentially. That's also that bit. I th you kind of want to go this skill build anyway against Ember, even before the buff. Mm -hmm. So now it's just, just more of the same. It feels really great. And Monet. Trying to push jabs out. They've actually done a pretty good job as Monet has the level advantage right now. You can see Siamese Cat's a big reason for that, walking around as a level 3 creep. As Makoto getting dove under the tower by Sumail. will have to use a remnant. TP coming in and canceled. Middle tower is under attack. Meanwhile, top side of the map, Ollie is in a very horrible spot. Will try to deny himself to Roche, but not really close. The telekinesis and on Monet actually prevented him from getting the kill, <laughs> so at least that's something. True. Went Wisdom away. runes are swapped as well. Shared, if you will. Split. Split, yep. Could not think of a proper word for that. Just a mini stroke is no big deal, Cinderin. Continue. Yep. Glad you're okay. Up to mail. He's going to get ganked, though. Gets off the split earth. Will connect initially, but it's going to be too much damage to withstand. Siamese Cat does. TP in, but it's... Slight dodge the blood grenade. <laughs> Very important. I don't think that was really on purpose, but... Nice for Makoto regardless. Didn't really matter. Just looks fun. Um, and this is a trend that we've been seeing, in this tournament at least, Sumail getting ganked by three members semi-regularly, it feels like, because he's just been so dominant as a 1v1 matchup. Yeah, you could argue it's a little bit surprising that Ench hasn't been more involved in shutting down mid, but I guess XXS just needed a lot of attention from Boboka in this game. So, could have definitely put the pressure the other way. So Mel will find a nice arcane in here, so he's going to be happy about that. Mikoto does have TP ready, so he will get a full refill on his own accord. And head back to mid. Pretty... Pretty quiet overall, and I mean, not too surprising really. I think for me, the biggest surprise again is, is Encha's lower involvement in mid than we could have expected, but aside from that. Oh, mid lane. So if they get him Ancient's again. Ancient's awesome mail. He's in quite a bit of trouble. Has that arcane root activated, but he dies. 3v2 in that mid lane. Meanwhile, Doom onto 23 Savage. He's trying to run it off as Monet showed up as well. He did get the strength morph off, so it's going to be still a pretty difficult kill. He's out of and as now. it dissipates. 
does actually does have waveform to get to the other side of the creeps, and he should be able to walk away now. Enough sticks. Yeah, he mana burned him to zero, but just barely enough oh for the tread switch. Oh my god. <laughs> to get off that waveform. Holy cow. Are the, I think those are too fat to even stack again at this point. Wait, I think he failed both of them. Yeah, I think so, but they're still very juicy. Yep. Timber is going to be oh, very yeah. happy with this. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. Thank you, Shannon. They should have voice lines for this. Yes. Specifically for big camps taken. I can provide those if needed. Valve, free of charge. You've submitted a certain voice line many a time. <laughs> you've, you've tried for years. They keep telling me not to. To get a belt now into the game. It's just a meme. Siamese Cat looks like he is... Gonna go down the slide of Fist of Makoto, see if they can turn this into a tier one in the top lane. Looks like after the fortification they'll be able to do so uncontested. Good pacing from Talon here. I think this is this is where you want to be in this game. You don't have to have a big lead, you just need to make sure Morphling's having a good game. He's gonna make Luna's life miserable later on with the eggs. And your Ember has sure he's sixth on net worth, but he's the gap to Lesh is insignificant. So I think you've got through what was supposed to be one of the harder parts of the game already. You've you've handled that very well. So now it's a matter of how do you capitalize? Do you get the mid tower now with some sort of rotation from Timber Saw? Are you just happy to still farm a bit? As we talked about, some big stacks were taken as well by the Timber. So he should be getting pretty close to his next build up item after that Vanguard. He'll get a Soul Ring now. So very farm intensive, obviously, with Arcane Boots and the Soul Ring. Mm -hmm. On jabs, will seemingly walk all the way back to base. He's pretty dry on resources after farming those ancients, but not a. But it's, it's always interesting to see Timbersaw's jungle, right? Because it's like this hero used to be the number one lane bully, and True. he was just in the jungle for a minute and a half. Now well, we got the first Mystic Flare of the game. That's going to delete the Undying. Easy for Talon there. But from Jabs' perspective, in terms of his build. Do you think, I know that you can't take Vanguard apart to get the Octarine, but it potentially could take it apart to still get both Octarine and Lotus yep. if you feel like that's a good build, because you still can use that Ring of Health. That's pretty reasonable. I mean, it's not the best Lotus game, right? Like, you can reflect... Doom. Doom. Yeah, I mean, obviously that is nice, but... Yeah, typically you want it for, at the very least, to be able to dispel something that's kind of basic. Either dispel something or reflect something that really... I mean, reflecting Doom is by no means bad. Of course, it is it is very powerful to do, but... Oh, Baboka is getting caught out. Oh. Silenced up and brought down. Man. Rubik deals so much damage with level 3 Decay, actually. Well, with Ancient Seal as well. Yep, Absurd. level 3 Decay, Ancient Seal, and 4 Fate Bolt. That's enough there. Aster. This is definitely not the start that they were hoping for. And as the panel talked about, in the ways of playmaking, pretty limited, right? You don't have any catch, actually. No catch at all that in their team. That is true. It's going to be... So, the Ember and Timber should be having a field day for a while. Yeah, that is fair. I think they can just play the map as aggressively as they want, almost. I mean, sure, you can get Doom, but you have to keep him in mind. If Doom is showing on the map, though, I think the rest is... Pretty much completely safe. And they're gonna find uh, the mail. Oh, oh my god! Okay, that was a Mystic Flare, surely, because it did Mystic not flare. show up on the screen. <laughs> it's invisible half the time this patch. I don't know why. Yep. If if you're dying, it's probably that. Makoto. Makoto. He's gonna be spotted now. Gets up the slide of fist. 23 Savage. Bring a little bit of residual damage onto Baboka, and these supports are just dropping left, right, and center. Tombstone's still on the cliff, but you can see 23 Savage and company able to clean up. They take out Monet as well. So four dead as Talon getting everything that they want. 5K lead at 13 minutes. And the panel, I believe, was talking about how Aster needs to be up by about this much at the 20 to 25 minute mark. This is completely flip-flop. I don't think there's any need to sugarcoat this. This is really, really bad for Aster. <laughs> It's uh, it's it's tough times because who do you turn to in this game state? I think, realistically speaking, you you're almost at a point now where you need to make some sort of team smokes to find fights. I guess to mail you get his bloodstone and then you go, because it's not gonna get any easier. You're gonna struggle to catch the right heroes, but what you can maybe do at least is play around some mail and try to use his insane damage output to at the very least kill the enemy supports. I still struggle to see them finding ways of killing the Morph or Ember, or Timber for that matter, without the Doom. And I don't know, are you seeing the same pattern that I am? I feel like we've seen multiple games now this tournament where one team picks three tanky cores 
And that, like, whole approach to Dota right now just seems really strong. Like, okay, Ember isn't tanky, but he's elusive, right? Just hard to gank cores, mm -hmm. stable supports that can skirmish, and then... It seems like a recipe for success yeah, right now. Claire, we can see it this time. Deletes another hero, Wait, did and... I see that right? But Boca's level four? Dead. What? He's level 14 four! 14 minutes? XXS, he wants to get something out of this. Finally, the Doom comes out. Q will be Pulse Nova down eventually. Last right click from Samil is enough. And now they turn the sights onto Timber, but the Split Earth misses. They have the slows. Now he's getting some support via Makoto and Ollie. Is he actually going to tick out? It's going to be close. They're not able to get the deny, actually, so he does end up dropping to Baboka. Oh, he TP'd in with the impetus there. Yeah, nice for Baboka. He gets a level and a half <laughs> from that kill. That is insane. Almost two full levels, actually. And I don't oh. think the... Oh, maybe the 14-minute wisdom rune was taken, but the, the seven-minute was definitely split because we had a conversation about my horrible English. But I think it was taken by him dying, right? Well, even so, you if still get it. If he took it on Ench. Oh, you're saying the... Wait, what? It, it, it goes to both. In that am, case. am I stupid? Huh. Well, do you, do you want me to answer that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, what was the result of your research? I, I I pressed enter to read the chat history, and I was like, it doesn't matter what it says. I'm stupid no matter what. So <laughs> there's no need to do further okay. research. Well, I'm glad that we got that resolved. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Denial I mean, was the first step, so actually acceptance. Actually ridiculous to be level 4 minute 14 on inch. Yeah, that, that is an accomplishment in and of itself. I well, don't know the last time I've seen that one. He got some levels now. XXS oh, on the high ground, gets off the war stop, only going to connect on the Rubik. They'll be able to kill him, but it's going to be the trade for the Doom very shortly. Mystic Flare comes out. Not quite enough to get the Undyne. They do find Makoto, oh, though. The chain. And Aster, they're actually getting a good fight out of this. They lose the Doom, but get three in return. Oh, boy. That was... Yeah, there was a lot of things that went wrong for Talon there. They missed the Timber Chain on the way out from Jabs. Mikoto, I think, did not have enough time to throw out a Remnant either. Oh, oh they want this damage. kill. Monet, he is done for. Getting a little bit too overconfident. I mean, there's only two members alive for yeah. Talon, well, but apparently that's enough. It. So you're going to see the replay here. So this War Stomp didn't hit both. If it does, this fight is even, even better for Aster, but... Mikoto here, very slow remnant, doesn't get very far away. He actually has another one to throw, but didn't choose to throw another one. Gets stunned and mm. killed off, and this chain misses. Wow, right between yep. the arches there. Scored a goal there. Oh, stack being stolen now by 23 in live. Yep, he was getting some value out of uh, the moon glaives. And now he's in regular form again. And he has his Yasha... Lincoln's he almost so. pulled the enemy wave with his courier as well. <laughs> That's some yeah. efficiency right there. Yeah. Some eternal envy shit. <laughs> Does that mean he's about to die with one HP? <laughs> Full agility. It's always something good has to be balanced with something bad. That is true. Uh, so we're going to miss that. What's an envy thing to do on more? Radiance hmm. Middle Tower has been you do some research? I'll tab and get some videos. I mean, it's just... It, it probably is going full edgy and dying to something random. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Full edgy, dig up a kobold with trusty <laughs> shovel. Doesn't work like that anymore, I guess. But. That's true, but somehow he'd make it work. <laughs> yeah, he, would, he would dig up a kobold and die. True. And so that was not in the patch notes. There's a 0.1% chance that the kobold is an enemy oh. for these rare occurrences. So Monet's build, Mask of Madness, Dragon Lance, going for the BKB. Trying to find jabs here. They do have Doom, so... Yeah. Not going to be able to connect. They will regroup with Monet. It will Stabilized be Stabilized quite well, though, Aster. Like, this was starting to look pretty bad. They've cut it down to a 3k now. And they are going to do what their lineup does best. Smoke is 5. Look for trouble. Well, that's one thing I wanted to bring up, is you talked about the lack of initiation. Uh, XXS has had that war stomp for quite a while, but he goes no for pipe first. And opting to go for Blink Dagger later. I really like the pipe choice, too, because I think you need to empower some mail. Uh, with this pipe, he's going to be way tankier. Pop the pipe on him, he's going to use Bloodstone and run in. Actually already has a Shield Rune activated as well, so he's insanely yeah, tanky in this upcoming this. fight. All he's going to break the smoke is Roche starting to get low. I think they should still fight them even if Roche dies. Talon can actually get this. Now they're going to know that they know. But Aegis is taken by 23 Savage, and can they disengage, or do they even want to fight? Oh, this is you not can a see good Aster no. still want to fight, like he said. Okay, and we're going to have the connection now. Timber Chain, 
Mystic Fire coming out. Not really going to do a whole lot of damage. This is awkward. There's, There's no a Aster. really good ward from Talon here. Yeah, very awkward fight indeed as the Harpy is going to get destroyed here momentarily. And Jabs, is that actually who they want to jump? Oh, we only ha already have a TP out from somebody from Aster is Didn't Jabs. He, he left the random behind shortly, right? Bloodstone right? activated for Sumail. Not did. really seeing any full engagement here. Yeah, I'm not sure if there... I don't see a remnant. Wait, isn't it one at the top there? Mid. The green dot on the map? Oh, yeah, yep, there it is. Good so call. He did leave one behind, but he didn't feel the need to reconnect, so... Yeah, why would he? There was no fight, apparently. Yeah. I thought for sure that was going to break out into something. Yeah, but then Talon realized, wait, Aster can't catch us. Oh, and look they at that pool. Away. They forgot about it again. Forgot about... Wait, who did they forget about again? The Lotus Pool. Which musician did they forget about? Trey. Yes. Good job. Wait, is that actually right? Like getting a I yes. Just, I just guessed a random person. <laughs> yeah, sure. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I just guessed a random person and I thought Dre. That was the first person I thought of. But I don't even know what they look like. I don't know any music I mean, they're associated with. Uh. <laughs> oh my God, I'm choking my You're water. Actually, why are you drinking water when you can't stop laughing? That's not the cure for laughter. I was just thinking of a random name and I thought of Dre. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm All glad right. I got something. One of these stupid ass trivia's you came up with I'm correctly. Oh, I'm what impressed. is? Ooh. Oh. Well. All right. Just it is, testing uh, it out. Fully functional. That is. Uh, I believe they used to call it the Chinese BKB, yep. right? That used to be a thing. Yep. That's a good old Twitch meme. 75 seconds now, has to wait. But I don't think they were going to fight anyway because there is the Aegis, obviously, from the side of Talon. Yeah, Talon have a pretty yes. strong power play right now. Not only the numbers advantage with the Aegis, but also just, like, Morph now with the Manta. Is I think Aster might have to pull a PSG LGD here and really slow things down if they can. Stall it out, get a really farmed Doom, and get a really farmed Luna. Or... At the very least, bare minimum, if you want to fight, you need the Lesh BKB. Because I think Samael actually just can't go in. He's running into a Blade Mail Ember. He's running into Silence. He's running into tons of burst damage. Even when he's piped, he feels vulnerable. Last fight, I had more hope for them because he had the Shield Rune for an extra 1,000 health, which is kind of ridiculous to say out loud. Um, it won't be the case next time around. Well, it... I do believe that Talon will be just going for these outer towers with this first Aegis. Yep, Likely will it. not be able to get much done for the high ground, so it comes down to the second Roche again. And you can really tell what their mindset is around the, the game state, right? It's like, okay, the only way they kill our mobile course is with Doom, but our morph is Aegis, so we can literally leave him alone anywhere we want. He's just going to push in top alone, farm it to his heart's content, and we can back up the Ember with our supports. I really like their map split here. I actually think 23 could start high grounding top. I wouldn't mind it, but he will be the siege vehicle for mid here instead. Also good, of course. Yep. XXS has his blink, so that is a good first step for Aster's Talon potential initiation. Very well posed here. Yeah, you can see Siamese Cat, his smoke was broken, so they know that somebody's on the other side. And now we're going to see a smoke on the other side again. And Makoto is going to break momentarily. If he gets a little bit closer to Boboki, he does. And you can see the Mystic Flare, but a nice four staff to keep him alive a little bit longer. Wait for him, not enough, because they don't have the vision. Adaptive Strike onto oh, the wrong oh, target, actually. Oops. And Boboka is just going to heal up. I think the Sentry was placed before he adaptive. So I, I think, think so, too. He just... Sometimes your mouse slips. Yeah, it happens. Maybe he was just sending a message to Sumail. My eyes are on you. I don't care that there's a free kill right in front of you. I'll <laughs> adaptive you 10 out of 10 times. So yeah, it looks like the Aegis will just dissipate. And Talon get most of the outer towers. There's still that tier 2 in the bot lane. And I believe Aster is going for the Tormentor. We should name these things, right? The, the Radiant and Dire should have different names. Don't, don't, oh. They're brothers, after all. What do you think about uh, Johnny and Jared? Jared? Okay. Well, what do you think? Maybe that's a bad, uh, yeah. bad idea. We have Grab Ally. Oh, we do. That's a good one. And now we have. Da, 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 da. 
Telekinesis MK2. Yeah, that's a good one. Got some big saves now from both sides. Of course, Grab Ally is cooler, so we'll... <laughs> just because of the name. We'll specifically be looking for that. There's no... How, okay, honest question, though. Yeah. How good do you think Grab Ally is? I think it's extremely game-specific. In this game, it's okay. Like, you can save people from... A, you can, like, potentially save people from, like, a Mystic Flare combo or something like that, but... Okay, what if... Certain spells work through it. Like, per, like if you're infested, right? Right. Radiance will work. Or if, mm -hmm. like, Pudge is inside somebody with Rot, mm -hmm. it'll work. Pulse yeah. Nova is the one I'm looking at. Yeah, I think it works if he's in the Tombstone. You think so? You don't? I doubt it. Huh. I could be wrong. Maybe we should pay attention to that. Leshrac not moving is not Radiant good, Oscar. generally. Yeah. So, if he has but Pulse Nova on and he's in the tomb... If you really want to kill him... I mean, this is... You're still saving it, right? Yeah. Because I'm trying to think of an interesting way to make it, like, stronger. That's not just healing, because that's... You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of them like that. Like the Pudge Dismember, for example. What if when you enter the tomb, when it grabs you, it spits out another unit instead in your in your place? A clone. A zombie clone of yourself? Yeah. Yeah, then Valve will have to make a new model for each... Dota model. Not that. only that, but it has zombie versions of all your spells. Yeah, and, and it has to work with all your cosmetics. And if it's Rubik that's in there, it yeah. has Rubik zombie versions of all your spells. That's perfect. I think that's definitely worth the dev time. Talon's still wonder, sitting on a 5k... Are, we're not done with this conversation? No, how many people at Valve do you think work on Rubik? <laughs> <laughs> that's literally their resume, right? You look at their, their CVs. <laughs> It's not even programmer, it's just Rubik. <laughs> Go on LinkedIn, three years experience as Rubik coder. <laughs> uh, what a mess. Imagine how many new and additional cool heroes and features we could have had in Dota if Ice Rock never made this. That's true. That he is has, he has taken, unironically true. He has true. taken a lot of time. That is unironically true. Well, Morphling uh, ult as well, right? Yeah, to some degree. I, I guess the thing about the Morphling ult is that I guess it's not that much extra work when you already have Rubik. Because, like, I'm assuming you can borrow a lot of the functionality from how Rubik Probably. works. Probably. Probably. But, yeah, th there is a good reason Rubik cannot steal more. I think that's where they draw the line. <laughs> they Somebody pitched that at Valve and they were like, <laughs> they if got you fired. make me do this, I quit. <laughs> it's that meme where they throw you out the window during yeah. the meeting. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> Content? Oh, no. Oh man, you're on top of it today. You knew Dre. You're referencing memes. You've changed for the better. Thank you. I've been hanging around you for too long. Yeah, that really changes people for the better. Monet, is he gonna get jumped here? 23 Savage, I believe, turns into the Luna. Yep. Time to fight again. Or well, time to try to fight for Aster. Um, yeah, it's all about these Roche timers, right? We can see that it's a relatively long timer, about two minutes left. But it really feels like this, for this patch, the Roche almost feels the same as the the one prior to the 7.33. This could actually be a good timing for Aster because Morph is running out on the Luna. So he's yep, going to have full stats. Did it very fight. early. Uh, this It's not getting much better than this. You have BKB on Lesh. You don't get morphed in the fight. I actually kind of like this from Aster if they just go for the Roche. But unfortunately for them, it's not. Loves the mail. Makoto. Oh, he actually gets the stop. And the Doom on top of it. The Telekinesis to try to save him with the Glimmer Cape as well. He's getting healed to a high degree. Gets the shield applied as well. And somehow, I think he's going to walk this off. More slows coming in the form of Chakra. And Jab's trying to be that wall for his Ember Spirit. And he will. Why didn't My they, goodness. Why didn't they stun him? Is that your analysis? <laughs> No, they used their stuns in the opener, and wow. then he got telekinesis away. So then they couldn't really chase anymore. And now the high ground push will come, knowing oh. that Doom is down. And Astra hoping to trade for Roche yeah. quickly, but it's not up for another 50, so the timing really working against them here. And yeah, that is unfortunate. Wait, are you coming back or what? Uh, Hello? Tower's dead. What? All right, yeah. Sumail's TPing now. They're so the tower was given for free. There's the war stomp. Telekin needs to save again. They almost lost the racks. They, they were just standing at the outpost. Well, hoping for Roche. the Roche to spawn. I mean, if you trade that tower for Roche, it's worth it. Not the barracks, though. You need more time to take it, I suppose. Yeah. 
So now Roche will be spawning in 15 seconds. <laughs> no doubt. It's going to go through it all. This is and Doom will still not have his ultimate. Heartbreaking Absolute heartbreak here. I mean, unless they find some sort of great fight here, but I think it's going to be difficult. I think Doom is too much of a part of a, your kit to, to reliably win this fight. Yeah, they haven't scouted it out yet. Just spawned. 23 is going to be a monster in this one. He just needs to turn into Luna. He knows he can't get doomed. Turn into Luna and go to town. Really. It's what it's all about. All right, they're pinging it out now. Let's see how fast they can take this. And Aster are posturing as if they want to contest despite not having that Doom ult. Good vision from Talon here again. This ward is mega value Ask right now. Ask a madness now. pop from Monet, so he won't have that for the fight if he even wanted to use it. And actually, Talon are exiting the pit to try to fight, which is another option considering, again, without that big ult available. Yeah, but he morphed into Luna, so he just stole the stats. Now he's going to go Roche. Yeah, Aster are continuing Roche now. And by the fountain, Monet, or the... Whatever that thing's called. The tulips, the flowers. Sumail does get the split arm off onto the Morphling. 23 Savage continuing to get it. Yes, he does get the Aegis in the end. And now the BKB popped by Monet. They're fighting around this tombstone, and it's actually grabbed an ally. It got really fat all of a sudden. It was the Undying himself. And somehow nobody has died yet. Waveform in from 23 Savage. Adaptive Strike, not quite enough. Arcane Bolt is coming for the Doom, but he will likely survive. And 23 Savage and company, they will be able to take out some mail, but it's going to be the cost for their Ember. That's not the Boca Falls as well. Jabs has the Chakram coming out. 23 Savage actually pins them against the wall. Triple kill for Jabs as he comes in and finishes the job. Four dead. They lose their Ember, but everything else, including the Aegis. Just so much of that is the ward they have here. They saw the exact approach angle that. Aster was taking. They saw the Undying go into the tree, so they immediately flush him out. And they see Lesh, the entirety of the engagement. And they get the morph off as well because of this ward. You see this try here, but very nice lift from Ollie, just delaying things. No BKB on the Doom to be seen, so... Uh, it's difficult. Samel's trying to run away, but he's just going to get chased <laughs> until like, he dies here. Simon's cat went into the Doom stuff for some reason. I don't even know why. I think he might have misclicked. <laughs> that was hilarious. I don't know why that's so funny. But the thing really balloons up. I really appreciate that, that touch. Is 23 Savage now focusing on the buildings, knowing that Monet is dead for another 10 seconds. Yeah, he, so this will he, be might, a set. he might be happier if Monet were alive, to be honest. Then he could push faster. True. Yeah, he'd be getting those bouncing glaives. Sumail so wanting to try and defend. They get off the stun lock, but the telekinesis saves again. So they don't get the set of racks, but... Not sure if they're going to continue on. They do have the Aegis advantage, of course, and I think they they still have the cheese. It might have been consumed. This Rubik shard is actually just amazing, this game, because of Aster's yeah, uh, it's, limitations. What a 50-50 that was, huh? Yeah. No, they, the supports get half a shard each, then, you know? <laughs> so Mail, speaking of shards, does not have nice his, which would be dodge. very handy here. Splitter does end up connecting, though. But 23 Savage has turned into Luna, oh and now God. you're getting a taste of your own medicine. Moonglaves destroy the top set of racks. And Talon thinking about continuing here. Now with the 11k lead, they're going to back off for the time being. Double damage bottled right now onto Makoto. I'd like to see them continue the pressure, though. I think you still have two minutes on the Aegis. Put it to use. They're not going to kill you without using Doom. Well, Just you could get the, the Tier 2 here, and I I don't know when the Tormentor was killed, how long ago. But perhaps that will be spawning soon for the side of Aster that you can potentially steal. That was some incredibly pitiful damage from Leshrek on buildings. What was that, 120? Oh my god. Wow. He has well, not it, hit a tower. He didn't go for the Diabolic Edict build early in lane, which you sometimes do. No, see, but right? usually what happens, you go 4-2-4 four, four or something, and then you find, you know, you win a fight or something, and you go Edict. But he genuinely has barely hit a tower this game. It's a big part of the appeal of the hero is its ability to push towers after any sort of advantageous engagement, but they just haven't had any. So, his bottom tower not long for life. I don't think... Aster are interested whatsoever in this. They want to buy time, wait out the ages if possible. And again, 
for me, the onus is on 23 to make the call to let's go for it, you know? Don't don't let the ages expire. They'll grab the Torment turn away. Don't mind this. All right, who gets it? Skywrath or Jabs? It will be Skywrath. Which, for this patch, got a lot better because mm. you're getting magic resist with each int that you're gaining. So, not only are you getting armor, but magic resist and int. And, and it has a good name which is rare nowadays for new spells. That is true. 23 Savage, Lotus up, wants to use this Aegis, still has a minute to go, so it doesn't have to. They're just gonna it's something Scion, point. right? What is it? Shield of the Shield Scion. of the Scion. That's a nice name. Yeah. And then there's Grab Ally. Yeah. Uh, that a different intern at work that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the intern, I think, that named that one. Didn't have the thesaurus handy. So Talon taking a commanding 12k lead. They won't use the Aegis. But they did get a lot out of it. Yep. They're going to complete a Daedalus before they push, I'm assuming, at this point. You're 2k off it. If full map control. Keep the right heroes in the right place. Aster, they're ti they timed the Aegis, so yep. they're going to try to jump them. They see that the Tormentor's gone. Of course, that is a global message, so they should have known that, of course. Although, it's seeming like they didn't. I don't know. This just looks so awkward. They just smoked, and then they danced around in the forest, and then they left. Yeah. They had a little bit of Midsummer Party, but they went too early. It's not until in a week. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I mean... Who brought the crates of beer? Did they at least not litter when they went out there for a picnic? Aghanim Scepter online for Timber. So you got that reactive armor charge thingy, Mabobber. I don't know if that has a name, actually. That's actually the name. Reactive armor thingy, Mabobber. Okay. Wouldn't be against it. I mean, you're just... I guess you're just activating your passive, which is reactive yeah. armor. So no need for a new aim. So it should be called active armor. That is true. That would be a nice name for that. That is true. It should be renamed. Dyer's now, do they wait for the third Roche? Because their lead is not crazy, and you are going up against a Doom. The world is their oyster, right? Like, you just choose. You don't have to push. You don't have to... And Sumail has Shard as well, so the Split Earth is going to be really annoying to... Well... They're going to run right into Sumail. Stunlock and the Doom. They're trying to get this Timber Slot. He pops that active armor. He's going to blow up here very shortly, but he's not going to be near anybody. And kaboom. All right, they got Ollie. That's a good start that for Rubik Aster. Is dead. Nice stop coming out from XXS. They will be able to bring down Timber Slot with the help of the Doom Ultimate. And now Q getting chased down, but man, this Skywrath is fast. How many shields of Scion stacks does he have? Not enough to survive this. As a triple kill for Sumail. So nice, aggressive play from Aster. Yep. Talon just got... I mean, again, when I say the, the world is their oyster, it's, it's mainly about are the heroes played correct, placed correctly relative to each other. I think the dream scenario for Aster is exactly what happened there. You find the Rubik and you kill him first. So he can't save the others with telekinesis because any core you're going to go on, if they get glimmered telekinesis away and just run... It's already going to be awkward for Aster, and obviously a big part of that play as well, the Morph was on the complete opposite side of the map. So mm. if he could have helped there, I think, imagine Morph is here, you just take the fight, I think, but he's nowhere to be seen, completely isolated in the others on the half of the map, and Aster with a, a nice move here that gives them a lot of comeback. I mean, it's, they're definitely not quite there yet, but this was a 5k gold swing, getting these kills, a nice a move nice from XXS, yeah, beautifully done. Taking full advantage of the ward that they placed there. A couple of minutes ago, Talon not dewarding the area very well. Considering they're really far ahead, I'm actually surprised they're not taking more advantage of a gem and just really covering their tracks. Yeah, it's been, I mean, 7k lead at this point is not... Okay, oh, it just became 5 because of the bounty. <laughs> okay. okay, that was uh Nobody's four. been there for a while. Let me hit enter. Is there more? Yeah, it was exactly four. So that was how much net worth? That was like 2K. That was 2K. That was just it 2K went from gold. seven to five, basically. Huh. Sometimes you go on a scouting mission and you strike gold. That's right. He and brought his metal t detector to the radiant jungle. Well, Roshan up in a minute 15, so... Makoto? 
Not the longest of spawns. Will offer himself up here. Yep, he has the shield rune activated, so see if they want to actually go on him. Jabs wants to get aggressive. There's a split earth, and this is where Sumail's shard can really be a nuisance for Talon. And that was any a BKB any of these out the tight window. corners. Yeah, true. Makoto now has to be a little bit careful he doesn't get caught by a Doom War Stomp into Leshrac combo. Could potentially threaten him. And Astra are going to go for it. They have everything ready. Yeah, absolutely. They see him now with the ward. They do. He still has that shield rune at half capacity. Split Earth actually does hit all. He's going to telekinesis himself. But there's the doom. It actually gets reflected. So two players doomed right now as the reactive armor is pops to. Mail is melting, though, with, even with the BKB. Bloodstone healing up a little bit. He does get healed by Siamese Cat and will live as a result, but has to kind of reset completely as Monet is bursted down by Jabs as the Doom finally dissipates on him. And Jabs is going to break everybody into the corner again as XXS drops to the deck. Sumail is next. Three dead for Aster, which looked like a pretty good fight outright, but that reflected Doom absolutely decimated them. Yeah, you just you take Doom out of the fight. And again, it's a matter of, okay, you get the Doom off, but do you have the damage? Like the heroes are just playing around each other and 23 gets a completely free fight. When that Doom is expended on Ember, you can just... He's literally just running them down. He's wave farming in, fighting them. They put their defensive stuff on him. He's insanely farmed and... Oh, wait, you shouldn't kill him yet. You should have waited for the Aghanim Scepter. He dropped eggs. Wait, what? He was out oh, of the pit. Oh, okay, I thought he had to be on the other side. I too, actually. Interesting, okay, that's a today I learned. I wait. like that. Wait, so when exactly does it happen? Well, I guess it, it's just when the timer hits 40. Yeah, it, when it's daytime. I guess it's I guess. irrelevant where he is. Huh. That's cool. All right, well, that's So pretty... we're going to see the replay here, right? So this Doom here, really nice Lotus usage from Jabs. And that means Doom is out of the fight. And you see, Mikoto, sure you're Doom, but he's literally just going to walk it off. He's just going to wait for it to expire. It could have so, grabbed Ally there. So Mel, so Mel gets bullied out of the fight by the Morphling alone, and then the BKBs expire. And it's Jab's time. Just walk through and clean house. Nice and easy for Talon. I know it's... We talked about if Pulse Nova works while grab allied, mm -hmm. that was a perfect opportunity to do that. They were completely ignoring the tombstone. Sumail yeah. was running away. They could have just fought. Like, that was kind of the issues. They had to to run away and reset instead of just fighting on, on the tombstone. But who knows? Wait, why are there so many explanations on the Ags on Skyrath? On the Ags? Because it upgrades every spell. Yeah, but it's like, does it need to write the text for all of them? Don't yes. They? Okay. <laughs> I mean... Very thorough. On sure. The okay. Makes it look more complicated than it is. 20k lead now for Talon, as that fight was very big in their favor. Who got the Aghanim Scepter? Was it actually... Q? Is that why we're highlighting it? Okay. Yep, that is certainly a good one. Yep. And now we have a smoke from Talent. Now the world is truly their oyster. Yeah. It's a weird saying. Yeah, I don't really understand it. Do you like oysters? No. Do you like the world? No. Makes sense you don't get the saying then. Okay. It's just a very negative saying. <laughs> Well, I mean, you break open an oyster and eat it. Is that what the, the saying is supposed to I, reflect here? Is I don't. Have the connection here. The double Mystic Flare. Sumail will live the initial onslaught. Pops the BKB. 23 Savage might expend his BKB here. Grab ally available to Astabrit, refusing to use it. The Doom died without using ult. No buyback at all. Grab ally still there, of course. You can see the arrow pointing at it. Wanting somebody to go inside. Many treasures. Lie beneath the tombstone. Oh, when you go and grab, this should be like a mini game, like Indiana Jones, <laughs> when you're inside. You've never seen that movie. Oh. 21k lead for Talon is now the second set of racks have come and will soon be gone. Although he loses his uh, his Luna form, so this will go a little bit slower. It's a good slide chains here. I actually thought they were going to pounce on this. There's no Lesh BKB. Makoto got a double chain, but also fine with this from Talon. Just play it safe. Just keep sieging. Poke yeah. and prod. Split Earth comes out again. It will continue to grow. Range Rax is dead. One more melee stands between Mega Creeps. 
and not. Just like every other game of Dota. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Mega Creeps. So Talon, I mean, Aster can't fight without Doom. So it's understandable that they would have to try to fight through this. Correction, Aster can't fight even with Doom. I mean, that's kind of true, too. And 23 Savage. He's got the Moon Glaives. Now they can start bouncing. Oh, man, this damage. Yep. You got to do something about this now. Split Earth does hit. XXS wants to get the Doom off, but the Lotus is still applied. Lots of damage coming out from Ember. Spirit is the double Mystic Flare again. Makota's in a bit of trouble. Gets four staff to safety. But now Aster starting to fall near their fountain, although nobody technically dies. 23 Savage. Lincoln's his pop. Has to be a bit careful. Still 45 seconds on the Aegis. Will likely try to consume it here. Refuse Can Aster even still. kill him, though? Not even one time. Now Aster back into the fountain they go. BKB really laid BKB from Makoto. Tier 4 still remain up, but not for long. Another Split Earth comes out. As Aster refused to give this up, but they just can't do enough damage to even take this Morphling one time. And Sumail in a 1v1 battle with 23 Savage pops the Bloodstone. Waveform, it actually hits the Split Earth. Very nice prediction. But Sumail will be forced to TP out, but the Lucent Beam will cancel it, and 23 Savage got his second life back. XXS, okay, he actually gets the Doom on the correct Morphling, but it's going to likely cost him his life, if not more. Grab ally still available, <laughs> but refuses to be used, and eventually the Tombstone is brought down, and the hopes and dreams of Game 1 of Aster go with it. Honestly, so Talon, Game 1 victory, very impressive. I mean, it's a little...